Hey guys, so this is going to be more of a fun one, because uh, I definitely like to see the uh, reasoning and rationale behind people's decisions. So I'm walking to Dollar General, and I'm thinking, boy, wouldn't it be great if we had other modes of transportation apart from the ones that are already provided to us? You know, you look around, you see bikes, you see cars, planes, trains, and automobiles. <laughs> but I'm thinking, what if we had more abilities? So I'm going to list a couple of abilities that I thought of. Um, some of them are practical and helpful and won't really stunt your day if you choose to go out and experience your day. And the others are just kind of lazy. <laughs> so I'm going to give out about like four of them. <clears throat> you don't have to pick any of them. But if you know if you do pick one of them that th you think you know you would enjoy having, let me know why. Or I would love to hear your own kind of ability, power to you know transport around. So the first one is the more, in my opinion, the, the one for people who want to experience the day, but just don't feel like dealing with, say, the weather. Um, either, either being able to manip manipulate the weather completely, or just lowering around yourself or raising. So you get this nice little barrier of, of air, and you can raise and lower it. So if it's 100 degrees out, you can lower it down to like 50, you know, 40, 50 degrees out, and while everyone else is sweating their asses off, you've got a pep in your step because you have no sweat on your brow. Or if it's, you know, 30 degrees or below zero, everyone else is freezing their asses off, and you've got a pep in your step because you've got no frost on your brow because you've raised the temperature to about 70 degrees for yourself. So everyone else is treading in snow, and the snow's melting around you because it's 70 fucking degrees around you. Uh, so being able to manipulate the weather or just the air around you, because really, you know, sometimes you think, oh, it'd be so nice to get rid of the heat, you know, have a nice little storm cloud above you or a little snow cloud, but then you draw attention to yourself, and we don't want that. We want it subtle. Um, <clears throat> so being able to manipulate the weather would be cool, but subtlety is key, and you don't want people, you know, <laughs> you know, you don't want to draw attention to yourself in a giant fucking storm cloud and rain over your head or, or you know, a, a small blizzard going on around you. Um, but being able to ma manipulate the air around you, you know, just like, you know, maybe this far, just a nice little shield of, of cold or hot air. And uh, you just go about your day if you're the kind of person who, like, say, likes to go on hikes. You know, say it's 100 degrees out, but it's, a you know, it's beautiful out the... the you know, just a slight breeze, and it's just really nice out, and you really want to go for a walk, but it's too hot out. Well, you can lower that temperature and uh, enjoy your day. Enjoy that hike. Um, or same thing, like I said, if it's snowing, I like to go out in the snow. So, you know, you don't even have to bundle up or anything. You just lower your body temperature, or not your body temperature, the air around you. So that's choice number one. So that's for more people who like to go outside and don't want to put any hindrance to their normal daily life, who still want to go out and do things. The second one is more like a Naruto type thing where you're able to just kind of jump long distances, you know, jump from roof to roof, treetops. Um, you know, you can walk a mile in 30 minutes, you can run a mile in 15, but if you have this ability, you could two jumps and boom, you've gone a mile. Um, of course, you can kind of pull that back and take as many as you want or it could be one jump one jump head of the bread line no so um so that's for people who still like to go outside but just choose to i mean it does slow things down a little bit because you can kind of you know jump the way you want you can jump as far as you want or you can jump as short as you want the fact is that you're able to bend the gravity around you and you're able to go different uh, different distances. I mean, hell, I would love to just jump up to the fucking top of a skyscraper and just chill out there all day. So, you know, if you chose that, how would you use it? You know, would you do it for transportation reasons, or would you be like me? Would you just, you know, jump to the fucking top of a mountain and just sit there all day? Um, so that's for the people who would like to go outside, but, um, you know, want to speed it up just a tad bit. The third one, flying, of course. Everyone dreams of flying. We've dreamt of flying since we could have the thought of, 
you know, the process of thought. We wanted to fly. So with fly, you can still go outside, but with flying, it gets you there a lot faster. Because whereas with the jumping one, you're still stuck in your way, once you're up in the air, unless you go super high and there's planes and shit you have to watch out for, if you go maybe 15 feet or so, like around here, there's nothing in the air 15 feet in the sky. There's, there's nothing. Uh, so you have nothing but nice, clear air around, fly around, get to everywhere you need to be really quickly, a lot faster than you would jumping. So that's a little for more of the lazier side. Um, same thing with the other one. You can speed up and slow down because uh, you're manipulating and bending gravity and this and that. And so you're able to push yourself further or faster and whatever else. Um, so flying. I mean, I think no one would really turn out flying. But in the grand scheme of things, I don't think it would be the best choice. Um, I mean, maybe if you pair it with, I don't know, the, the first one with the weather, because you may be going out on a really fucking hot day, and you really think you're going to stay cool flying around. I mean, yeah, you've got that wind going on, but you're going to want to be able to manipulate your, you know, around you uh, in order to stay a lot cooler. Because if you overheat, you're going to be like, ah, I don't want to fly no more. And then the, uh, the fourth one is something more direct. An instant transmission type thing. Where you think of a place, so if you're just sitting in your room, you think of a place, boom, you can just teleport directly inside that place. This is for those people who are incredibly lazy and don't feel like going out um, and really wasting a lot of their day. They just, boom, directly to where they want to go, get the stuff done, and boom, teleport right back to their house. They don't want to go outside. They don't want to deal with people. They don't want to uh, see the outside world. They just want to you know, here, there, get stuff I need, and then get back. More, probably more for the introverts uh, who don't like dealing with people, who don't like people, who are awkward, you know, social awkward. Uh, so I see people like them doing that. Or maybe say you're sick. I mean, that could really be helpful for, uh, helpful for someone who's sick, you know. You, know, you just teleport directly to a fucking medicine aisle. And then you pay, boom, done. Of course, that I know it can be overused because if you can tell, just snap into a place and just take what you need and then snap right back out. But assuming you're a good citizen and you're going to pay for it, you don't go directly to what you need, you pay for it, and boom, you're done. So that way you're not exposed to the outside, possibly risking getting even more sick. You're not really exposing many people to your sickness. You just do what you need to do. But, um, yeah, that's the more lazy side, because I know a lot of people would say, oh, yeah, that'd be great if I could just pop in and out of a place. You know, it's like, oh, man, it's like, I would love to go to this restaurant, but it's like 40 minutes away. It's like, well, <laughs> instant transmission, just boom, right there. Um, so there are a lot of positives to it, but it's mainly for those people who just don't feel like going outside. Uh, you could, you know, also like rainy days or something like that, but... Hey, that's where the weather manipulation comes in. You know, if it's raining outside, you can kind of protect yourself uh, by manipulating things around you so that rain will come down and it'll just slide right off. You've got, like I said, you've got like a, a shield around you that you can manipulate. So you can lower it if you want and, 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 and get covered in rain, or you can keep that shield up and just, you know, have the water slide right off. Um... Of course, it would look weird on windy days if you have that shield up. You know, so you're manipulating the weather around you. Everyone else is getting their, their hair is getting blown around, and you're just your hair is straight down and not being affected. Everyone's like, "His hair is his hair glued to his freaking head." Um, but yeah, those are the four options. So manipulation of weather, or at least the air around you. Uh, long jumping, or you know. Quick travel like that from rooftop to rooftop, treetops, stuff like that. Flight or instant transmission. Um, and I just kind of describe it the way with it is within like Naruto and uh, Dragon Ball because that's where most people know it from. But other 
obviously other mediums uh, use these types of, you know, things. Um, but which one would you pick? Or if it's neither none of those, what would you do when it comes to traveling? What would you prefer? And this is to have fun. So don't just say, well, I wouldn't choose any of them. I'd like to, I'd like to walk around just fine the way it is. That, that, that's not the point of the video. It's to have fun. It's to think. It's to uh, think about what these powers entail and how that would benefit you throughout your day. Not, well, I like my boring life the way it is, and I, I, I don't feel like traveling any other way. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, if you don't pick any of those, that's fine. Let me know what you would choose. And same thing if you did pick one of those four. Let me hear the reasoning. You know, I don't want to hear just, oh yeah, I would pick this one. Why? It's like in school. Tell me why you came to that conclusion. Um, anyways, yeah, like I said, this was just a fun one. So. See, I can be fun, guys. No, you're not. You're telling the people that you want a real answer, not just, well, I wouldn't choose anything. <laughs> because that's no fun. That's You have to use your imagination. Don't just, that's like playing a video game and picking the human, you know, human race. It's like you're playing a fantasy game, you pick a human, you are a human. Why not just be creative and be something else? Well, why would I pick something else? I, I like being a human in game, the game. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yeah, leave your answers below. I'd love to hear the reasoning. So, yeah, that's that. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.